Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a custom poker chip here using Photoshop. Any version will do. Uh, first you're going to do is make a new file. Uh, I'm pretty sure the dimensions are 1.5 inches. Uh, always work at 300 dpi. Um, we're going to use CMYK color. And make sure you have a transparent background. You don't want white or any other color. Use transparent. Okay, so we have our file here. Just going to stretch it and make it a little bigger for viewing. Okay, first thing you got to do, you got to make sure you, you can see your rulers. Uh, so go into view, click on the rulers. You see them at the top of the bar there. Then you're going to go into Photoshop preferences. And uh, we're going to go to units and rulers. And we're going to change it from uh, inches to percent. So we can get uh, a percentage of the ruler. Here we go. All right. So you can see at the top there, we have a rule. So we're going to take our marquee tool here on the top left. You want to use the elliptical uh, marquee tool, which will draw circular outlines. And what you want to do is line up. Whenever you move the cursor, you can see it go back and forth on the top there. And it actually does it on the left as well. You want to line up with zero. Zero will be in line with the side edge. And you can see on the left here, zero on the left side is the vertical. So if you if you line your cursor up at zero zero on both of them, and then you click and hold the button down, bring it down to the bottom right corner until it's at a hundred on both uh, the vertical and horizontal. Once you have it perfectly set there, you can let go of the button, and you'll have a perfect circle. Now we're going to select red for our chip background. You can use any color you want to use for your chips, and then you're going to grab the gradient tool and select the bucket. Click on it. There's a perfect red circle for your poker chip. Okay, now we're going to deselect all under select so we don't have anything selected. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make some snap guides. So we're going to click on the uh, select tool. Anywhere on this white bar, just click down and drag it down until it snaps to the 50%. You'll see a blue line there. You're going to do it for the vertical now too. These will not be printed, they're just for you for visuals. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, an inlay. And we can rename this one the background. We'll call it, uh, we'll call it, uh, let's see, solid, yeah, that works. Okay, now we're going to make the inlay. We can rename this to inlay. Okay, we're going to take the uh, elliptical marquee tool again. Now we want the uh, the center of it to be exactly in the middle. So it'll be at the 50-50 mark. We're going to hold the button down, hold shift and alt. And judging by whenever you let go of the button, that's the size of the circle you'll have. So let's do it about here, let's say. Let's, uh, this will be our size of it, an inlay. Now we're going to fill that with white paint. Pretty simple stuff here. Grab your paint bucket. You can always uh, switch these colors, the two, your two colors, by hitting X anyway. But anyway, back here, fill it up. There's our inlay. Okay, we're just going to deselect uh, what we have here. Oops, not deselect layers, but just deselect all. Or deselect, sorry. Okay, we're going to make a new layer. We're going to try to put like a little, um, just a little image just to give you guys an idea how to do this. So we can open up, here's a sample photo of a moose. Now you see this background here, we want to get rid of this white. We just want the moose to be outlined. So we're going to take the magic wand. Uh, you're going to hit select. Click on anywhere that's white. It, it'll select all the white, which is really good. Uh, and also, what you have to do, you have to unlock the background layer. If it's locked, uh, this will not work. So just hit OK when you click on the lock. All right. Up here, click on Edit, and then Clear. We're going to clear the background. It's basically like Cut, but Clear just gets rid of everything. Now we're going to hit Deselect, and then we're going to grab our grab to our grab this layer and drag it onto the uh, the chip. Now obviously the the moose is way too big for the chip, and it won't work. So you're going to click on Image, or sorry, Edit, and then Free Transform. Uh, we're going to lock the horizontal and verticals so that they're uh, the same. So if you change it to whatever percentage, both vertical and horizontal, weight and height are going to be the same. So we're just going to make it 
Mm, about this size. Looks good. Okay, you're going to hit enter twice to get out of this. Now you can move this anywhere you want, but you'll see that if you have these two rulers, you can center it pretty easily. It'll snap right to it. Close this. We don't need to save it. Okay, and the last part I'm just going to show you quickly is uh, text. Here, we'll just name this this layer. Okay, we're going to create a new layer. And then we're going to click on this button right here. And uh, make sure it's the ellipse tool. Uh, once again, you're going to go to the center. Now, the edge of this circle is what you're going to be typing on. So we're going to make our circle. This line is basically what you're going to be typing around. This is going to make a round, uh, round text, nice and smooth. So it's going to go black. Don't worry about that. We're going to delete this whole layer in a second. Um, that's just basically the line you're going to type on. So we're going to, we're going to select the te text tool. And um, you'll notice how it's got the, uh, it looks like an eye, but when you put it over this line, it changes slightly. You want it to be on the line. Uh, start in the middle, so it'll be centered. Click, start typing whatever you want, and uh, you, you will see that it'll type along, along the circle. And yes, this text is centered if you want to be uh, left margined click on the left now remember the the, the big black dot in the middle uh, we don't have to worry about because it's gonna we're gonna erase that in a second anyway okay and now it's right margin now we'll go back to center Okay, so now what we're going to do, because we, we don't want that black dot to be in our uh, our photo, we're just going to unview it. But basically, if you're done with your text tool, just delete it, throw it on the trash, and there you go. So that's the basics of a, a easy, simple to do chip. Uh, I hope this helped you, and uh, I'm sorry for the lame voice, but anyway. One more thing, yeah, you can rotate the text here. Uh, you have to select all, and then uh, you can change the angle of what the text is going to be. Um, you can change it any way you want, any degree. Just hit enter twice, and that's how it's going to be. Okay, well, this is uh, Jerkwagon signing out, showing you how to make an easy custom chip uh, in Photoshop.